Hello guys, welcome to The Train Parrot. Every time I speak to someone about on-chain data analysis, I get the same answers. On-chain data analysis is too slow, is delayed, lagging information. It's not possible to do any sort of swing trading. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a new indicator that is going to make much easier to consume one of the most powerful on-chain data analysis out there. This indicator is open source, it's free, and in today's video, I'm going to show you three different strategies that you can incorporate into your trading with Bitcoin that are all very profitable. Guys, if you like this content and if you think that the content that you're finding here, you cannot find it anywhere else, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Do not forget to hit the like and leave me any comment that's definitely going to help this channel finally get to the 30,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. Let's get into it. Network value transaction is something very simple. You calculate in the past day how many transactions there were in the whole day and you divide that by the market cap of Bitcoin. And that's it. So if we look at the chart of the MVT, you're going to notice that during the bull markets, we tend to have these areas in green where obviously there are more transactions compared to the market cap. And you might argue that in these areas, the market cap went higher but still the amount of transactions were skyrocketing in such a way that even if they are divided by the market cap, they still stand out. You might be wondering how can I get access to the network value transaction for free straight from my TradingView account? You're in your lucky day because I just released an indicator called NVT Studio, which is open source and it's available for free. All you have to do is click indicators and search for TTP NVT, this one right there. If you cannot find the indicator, just check in the description and I will leave a link. We're gonna look into a bunch of strategies and bear with me because we're gonna go from a very basic strategy to some really cool strategies where you can use these signals included in this indicator to take amazing trades with Bitcoin. Every time these signals are triggering, there's pretty much a reversal with a big move to the upside. You also have signals that you can use for shorts, like these ones here. All of them are purely based on what the network transaction value is doing. So let's get started with the first strategy. Search for history index. And this one at the top is going to give you the full history of Bitcoin. So more than 10 years of daily candles. Then head down to the NVT studio, double click on it and make sure that you're showing the actual NVT information. The first strategy is based on just using trend lines on the daily chart based on the pivots of the NVT. So all you have to do is to take one of the tops, connect it with the next pivot, and then make sure that your trend line goes across all the action of the NVT. Our signal occurs around here, to be more precise, at 21K. So at this point, what the NVT is telling us is that the amount of transactions are going higher and higher. And to be fully honest, this moment where Bitcoin did this move to the upside was meant to be the beginning of the bull market. Unfortunately, we have this extra capitulation here that was caused by FTX that completely interrupted this momentum that we were having to the upside on the NVT it made us fake out in all this zone, but then it was continued with the move following end of March. So I still think that this was a great signal. There was a drawdown around here, and then eventually it made it to 31K. That was a move of 50% for this signal, if you ignore the fake out to the downside. To give you an example of a long-term short, I'm going to show you this trend line that runs all the way from the bottom of COVID bouncing a few times above this trend line and finally breaking down around here on the 22nd of April. So that is our signal and that is our exit and it's telling us that the amount of transaction is going consistently lower and lower, the network is much more weak and we should have a correction. And that's precisely what happens. Now, if we do the trend line on the other way around and we connect the dots like this, we're gonna get the breakout around there, the confirmation, and then another move to the upside of 70%. This strategy seems to work pretty consistently, but it's got a big problem. The big problem is that 
It's a very long-term strategy. You require a lot of patience to be staring at the same chart for a full year until it plays out. Here you have another example. You can see how consistently it's going down and eventually it breaks out around here and it's got all this area that you can trade with a positive move. Eventually, this also gets broken down and it carries on capitulating to the downside. I find really cool to be able to be aware of this information from the network value transaction, but I thought that we can do much better than this. So that's why I wrote NVT Studio. By default, it displays in this way. Make sure you have set up this in the daily chart and that you're still using Bitcoin historical volatility index. The second strategy is my preferred one. Once you have the MVT Studio displaying in the chart, you can see all these areas of accumulation much more easy and it's colored in such a way that you know that the network transactions are increasing. If we flip back into show NVT, you're going to see how the NVT in this area is increasing. Guys, before I forget, if you like this content, do not forget to hit the like. Very important for my channel. I'm putting up all these videos with value, open source scripts. And if you really want me to keep making more videos like this, make sure you're subscribed and leave a comment telling me what you think of the new videos I'm making. Network value transactions above 150 are considered overextended and part of a bull market. Below 150, they're considered part of the bear market. When we look at this indicator in oscillator mode like this, you're going to notice that there are a few signals. You have two pairs of signals. One consists of small dots, color in yellow and orange, and the second pair of signals are larger dots painted in green and in red. When the oscillator of the NVT starts bouncing above the moving average, it starts accumulating. The yellow and orange dots represent a potential for a reversal in an area where usually the network value transaction reverses. So for example, you have this area right there and this area around here. If we go into more bullish area, you're gonna notice that this started printing from all the scandals and the last orange was around there. And finally, you have a larger dot, this one in red right here. You also have a massive green dot around here that was a great signal to enter the market. Let's have a look at a few extra signals. We have a yellow around here and also yellow around here. Remember that these are not signals based on TA. This is taking the information from the transactions in the network. If we zoom in into 2021, you're going to notice that from this candle, you start selling all the way to that candle. This gives you an opportunity of a 6% to the downside. All these candles, they have an area of overextension and from around that price, the drawdown here is 18%. Of course, you have a very early signal here that is pretty much breaking even, but you can start thinking, how would you trade this? You might be thinking, oh, maybe I should be DCAing my shorts. Personally, I do not DCA shorts. A short doesn't have any limit to the upside. And when you're DCAing, you do not want to combine it with a stop loss either, because that can very easily become an overkill for the overall strategy. These signals to the upside look pretty good to do some sort of DCAing, whereas these ones here, I will take them as a take profit area potentially, which takes us to the third strategy that I think will work really well with this indicator which is very simple, is to incorporate trend lines, in this case, using the oscillator. We go from the very bottom and we start trying to connect the dots in this way, kind of following the same thing that the MA is doing and then waiting for some sort of confirmation before taking your short. I find very useful the fact that there is an MA here. So this is telling us precisely when there can be also a reversal to the upside. But of course, all sorts of crosses that you see from here is much better if they come together with an actual signal. For example, here you can do the trend line, you have the dot, you have the crossover, and then the breakout. In this area around here, you can put the trend line, you have the signal down here, confirmation, which leads to this breakout of around 7% to the upside. They're 
plenty of moves like this that you can confirm with a signal and then there is a considerable move to the downside. There's another one here. You have this move recently to the downside after the red dot. You have the breakout to the upside. Again, in this case, there is no signal. And if you're wondering what's going on with the network value transaction for Bitcoin recently, that's a great question. Let's have a look. I'm going to take this high and I'm going to connect it all the way like this. And what this is telling me is that the network value transaction since mid-January has been dropping consistently. The price has gone up, which means that the market cap has increased, but the transactions keep going down. In order to accumulate properly, just from the perspective of MVT, we need a signal and we need a breakout to the upside around there. Guys, if you're planning to trade any of these strategies that I'm presenting in this video, make sure you have a look in the description. I will really appreciate if you decided to take any of these that are actually my all time favorite products. You can get discounts on three commas, rewards, bonuses, you'll find absolutely everything, including rewards for trading view subscriptions if you need to use alerts. Guys, I hope now you have a much clearer understanding on what network value transaction is. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment telling me if you're planning to use NVT Studio and in what way do you think it will work best for your personal style of trading. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye.